Welcome to Kennard Elementary School, Mr. Tyler's fifth grade class presentation of Family Feud Character Counts Edition. We are Tyler Cattell and Caleb Rosebrock, and we are your host. The feud will have four families battling it for the right to play in the championship round. Two families will compete against each other in one round, then the other two families will compete in the second round, with each round having three questions. The winning two families will battle out in the championship round with one question. Winner takes all round. All of the questions in the show were surveyed to all Kennard Elementary students, and their answer represent their interpretation of character in the six character count pillars. Trustworthiness, respect, responsibility, fairness, caring, and citizenship. Now let's begin the feud. Round one. Let's meet the teams. We have... This is Team Trustworthiness, and trustworthiness means to us to be loyal, keep your promises, tell the truth even when you don't have to, and don't lie. What is your favorite sport to play? Well, my favorite sport to play is soccer, and I like to play soccer because there you can have any type of game you want. You can have a good game or a bad game, but all along it's still fun. Okay, Reed, what's something interesting about you? I like to take selfies. Why do you like to take selfies? Because I like posting them on social networking and seeing what people say. How much negative do you get? <laughs> Not a lot. That's surprising. <laughs> Aiden, what's your favorite sport to play? Soccer. Why is it soccer? Because I'm really good at it and it's just a really fun sport to play. Uh, are you on like any travel ball teams or? Yeah, I'm on a travel um, soccer team. It's Bayshore Arsenal, or yeah, Bayshore, and it's Arsenal and Riley. Me and Riley are on the same team. Hey, Daryl, what's your favorite thing to do? Play sports. What sports do you like? What sport do you like to play the most? Football. Do you play for a football team? Yeah. Teal. What is your favorite school subject? Uh, my favorite school subject is math because over the years I have really worked on it hard so I can get better at it. Michael, what's your favorite thing to do? Go outside and play badminton. In my backyard. What is Batman? <laughs> I don't know what Batman is. What's no. Batman? It's a lot like tennis. What's different about it? Um, instead of using the ball, you use something called a birdie. Over here, we have responsibility team. Um, responsibility means do what you're supposed to do, plan ahead, preserve, keep on trying, always do your best, use self-control, be self-disciplined, think before you act, consider the consequences, be accountable for your words, actions, and attitudes, Set a good example for others. Anna, what's your favorite thing to do? Um, gymnastics. Why is it gymnastics? Because I feel like I'm good at it. Hey, Jillian, what's your favorite school subject? Social studies. Why is it social studies? Because I like to learn about the history of our country. Okay, Ellie, what is your favorite character count skill? Responsibility. Why is it responsibility? Because I'm really respectful and responsibility is our team name. Okay, Adam. Adam, what's your favorite sport to play? Lacrosse. Why is it lacrosse? Well, because I like to uh, I play defense and I like to hit people and knock them down. <laughs> so you're fierce. Yes, I am. <laughs> First two people come up. Ooh, 
What would you do if you noticed someone cheating on a test? Riley? I would tell them to stop, and if they don't stop, then I would tell the teacher. Survey set. Yes, sir. Thank you, Phil. Yes, sir. Ooh. Okay, uh, what is your answer? Uh, tell a teacher or adult. Survey says. Guys, what a pass or play? Play. Okay. Jenna, what do you think? You want, wait, do you want to repeat? Sure. Okay. What would you do if you noticed someone cheating on a test? I would. <laughs> okay. Ellie? Do you want to repeat? Repeat. What would you do if you noticed someone cheating on a test? Lock my paper. Survey says? It's the third answer. Adam, would you like a repeat? Yes, please. What would you do if you noticed someone cheating on a test? I would, I would take the test from them. Survey says. Mm -hmm. So Anna, would you like a repeat? Yes, please. What would you do if you noticed someone cheating on a test? Mm -hmm. uh, so you guys get a chance to steal. Would you like a repeat? Okay. My answer is ignore them. Survey says? Yes! yes. Woo! Woo! Olivia, can you please tell me what five times four is? Twenty. The answer is five hundred. Let me see your paper. Is there a problem, Miss Crease? Boy, that in the hallway now. Why'd you go to the to my desk? We didn't do it. How it happened? You tell me. I'm gonna go call the principal. You do that. <sighs> Hello, Miss Lack. Okay. Yes. Um, I'm sending two boys to your office. I think they glued a pen to my desk. Okay, I'll take care of it. Why'd you glue the pen to your teacher's desk? We didn't do it. And how did it happen? You tell me. Your teacher called me and told me you glued the pen to her desk. Well, she's wrong. She's your teacher. She's never wrong. No, yeah, she always is. Like the answer to the math class, it was 500. It was not. Boys, get back in here. The pen stuck to the desk again. Stop going pens to the desk. I'm not. You are. No, we're not. Yes, you are. No, we're not. I'm sending you two to character school. Welcome to character school. Olivia, can you please tell me the six pillars? Respect, responsibility, um... Let's get out of here. This is boring. Here. And they never came back. Hey, Libby, you want to watch the TV? Sure. The second suspect identified. Hi, I'm Sheriff Gary Hoffman. I want to welcome you to this week's Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. Is that As always, Agent we have Alex? exciting new captures. And don't lose your six pillars of character. It's the best thing you have. If you don't want to end up like those guys, contact Queen Anne's County Character Counts Program or visit www peopleofcharacter.org. Okay, second two people come up. Read. Read. What would you do if you say, take something from someone else's locker? I would tell them, I would tell a teacher. Survey says. Number one 
answer. You guys want to pass or play? We're going to play. Okay. Ellie, would you like a repeat? Thank you. What would you do if you say, take something from someone else's locker? Take something from theirs. Survey says. So Adam, would you like a repeat? Okay. What would you do if you say take something from someone else's locker? Tell them to stop. Survey says. Second answer. So Adam, would you like a repeat? Yes, please. What would you do if you say take something from someone else's locker? Ignore them. Survey says. Err. So Jillian, you have two strikes. If you get this wrong, they get a chance to steal. Would you like to repeat? Yes. What would you do if you say take something from someone else's locker? Tell them it's not the right thing to do. Survey says. Err. You guys get a chance to steal. Alright. Okay, would you like a repeat? Um, yes please. What would you do if you say take something from someone else's locker? Put it back. Survey says. Yes. Woo! Yes. Woo! What's up guys? Where are you going, loser? I'm going to put my stuff in my locker. Well, whatever. I had a bad day this morning, so let's get this over with. Give me your lunch money. I don't have any. Well, give me your stuff. Why do you need it? Why do you need it? I don't know. Give me my stuff back. No. Give me it back. Where have you been? Shadara took my stuff while I was putting my stuff in my locker. Where did Shadara go? I don't know. She took my stuff with her, and she she asked she asked me for lunch money. Okay, let me go call the principal's office to have her come down. Did you push Emma down? Who's Emma? Emma Corbell. She's in your class. Oh, that Emma. No. Emma said that when she was putting her stuff away in her locker to come back to class with her other, other stuff, you pushed her down and took her stuff. No, I didn't. Emma, come here for a second. Mm. Yes? So what happened in the hallway? Shara pushed me down while I was putting my stuff in my locker and she took it and asked me for my lunch money and I didn't have any. Is that true? Yeah. No. I'm Would not you? telling, I'm, I'm telling the truth. Well, we can just check the security cameras. Do we need to do that? No. I took Emma's stuff and I was bullying her. And Thank you. Now will you please go get Emma's stuff back and give it to her. Here you go, sorry. Thanks, just please don't bully anybody next time. Okay. So, Shadara tried to bully me today, but you shouldn't bully other people because it could be mean or hurtful. It's not nice to bully people. If you do see somebody bullying, immediately go to the teacher and tell someone or try to figure it out with yourself by yourselves. Last question. The third people come up. Wait in. Let's go wait in. What should you do if you see bullying on the playground? Tell a teacher. Survey says. Yeah, it is. Woo! Woo! We like to play. Okay, so you guys want to play. So would you like a repeat, Daryl? Okay. What should you do if you see bullying on the playground? Tell them to stop. Survey says. Here, would you like a repeat? Uh, yes, please. What should you do if you see bullying on the playground? Um, help the person try to get out of it. So, like, start walking away with the person who's getting bullied. Survey says. Michael, would you like a repeat? Yes. What should you do if you see bullying on the playground? Uh, 
So Riley, would you like a repeat? Yes, I would like a repeat. What would you do if you see bullying on the playground? I saw bullying on the playground. I would. Um, I would ignore it completely. Just not do anything. Survey says. Uh, so Reed, would you like a repeat? Now, my answer is stand up to the boy. Survey says. Uh, you guys get a chance to steal. Would you like a repeat? Yes, please. What would you? Sh what should you do if you see bullying on the player? Trustworthiness wins. Hey, Lindsay. Hey. Can, you, can you keep a secret? Yeah, sure. Oh, I kind of got a C on my math test. What, a D? No, a C. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Hey, did you hear that Nikki got a D on her math test? An F? No, a D. I'm telling everyone. I heard you got an F on your math test. That's terrible. What are you talking about? Well, Lindsay told me you got an F on your math test. What? I never... What? Well, that's terrible and that's sad. Uh, hi, Mr. Lee. Can I tell you something? Yes. Well, I was in math class and um, Ron now came up to me and was making fun of me and he said that I got an F on my test and I didn't, so... I don't really know where he heard that from. Okay, I'm gonna have to have a talk with him. Okay. Ronald, why did you um, push Nikki? I did it because she got an F on her math test and that's bad. Who told you that she got an F? Lindsay. Lindsay, why, why did she, why did you tell Ronald that she got an F? Why did you tell Ronald that Nikki got an F on her math test? Because it's funny. It's not funny. That's bullying. Now say sorry to Nikki. I'm sorry, Nikki. <laughs> it's okay, just don't do it again. Okay. Ronell, you say sorry to Nikki again. Sorry, Nikki. It's okay. Never tell a secret if your friend told you. <laughs> they told you that secret because they try be trustworthy to everyone. Whether it's a family member or a friend. You should treat others the way you want it to be treated. Spreading rumors is not nice. It could seriously hurt someone. Welcome back to um, round two of Family Feud. Let's meet our teams. Hello, Ryan. And what is your team name? Respect. It means to us to treat others with respect, follow the golden rule, be tolerant and accepting of differences, use good manners, not bad language, be considerate of feelings of others, don't threaten, hit, or hurt anyone, do peacefully with anger, insults, and disagreements. And Ryan, what is your favorite school subject? Science. Because I like learning about um, uh, marine biology and the underwater life. I think it's really cool how um, things work in this world. Okay. And Costin, what is your favorite sport? Uh, I, w I really like lacrosse because I'm really good at it. Okay. And Colton, tell me um, something interesting about you. Um, I'm a Boy Scout. Okay. And what do you do? Um. We do a good turn daily, and we keep the environment clean. Good. Lily, wh what is your favorite sport team? Um, Ravens. Why? Because they are the Super Bowl, and they're good players. Okay, let's meet our other team. Hello, Brianna, and what is your um, team name? Our team name is Caring. Caring is helping and looking out for each other, sharing and complimenting, and being a good friend to everybody. Ahead. What is your favorite sport? 
My favorite sport is soccer and softball, but I like softball more. Why? Because it's really fun and you get to play with each other. Okay. Journey, tell me something interesting about you. Um, I play soccer for CFC. Okay. And Riley, tell um, me something interesting about you. I am on CFC too, and our team has won the season. Okay, we got some soccer players. Taylor, t tell me your favorite um, school subject. Um, math, because um, I've really learned a lot about it. Okay. And Cassidy, what is your favorite subject? My favorite subject is math. Okay, and why? Um, because I think I'm pretty good at it, and it's more, to me it's more interesting than the other subjects. Okay. First two um, people um, come up. Hundred and seventy five responses, top six answers are on the board. How can you show respect? Help someone. Survey says second answer. Woo! Okay, what is your answer? Cheering someone up. Survey says Um, we're gonna play. Okay. Journey, what? How can you show respect? By um, respecting others. Okay. Uh, Survey says. Uh, okay, Riley. How can you show respect? Uh, by saying good things to everybody and not being rude. Okay, survey says, number four answer. Okay, um, Taylor, what, how can you show respect? By listening to somebody. Survey says, number one answer. Cassidy. How can you show respect? Following the rules. Survey says. <coughs> Two strikes. You get this wrong, they can steal. How can you show respect? Um, you could not bully. Okay, you can steal. How can you show respect? By following the golden rule. Okay, survey says. Sure. Hey guys, can we play? Sure. Can me and Megan be on the team? Yes. yes. Me and Jose will be on the team. Who's going to sit out first? Me and Michaela. That's it. Okay. <laughs> me and Megan will start. Okay. I think I should sit out for a little bit. Okay, do you need to go to the nurse? No. I'm okay. Fine. Hey guys, can we 
guys, can I fly? A little bit better. Uh, sure. You should never not be caring. If you are not caring, you can hurt people mentally and sometimes physically. Someone who is hurt, being bullied, go help them or get someone else like, go get a teacher to help them. Caring, pass it on. Second question. Second two people come, come up. Go Garson. Go Jamie. Go Jamie. 170 responses. Top um, six answers are on the board. How can you show good character? By um, being caring. Survey says. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Jamie. Riley, how can you show good character to to your friends? By playing with them. Survey says. Yes. Six answer. Taylor, how can you sh show good character to your friends? Cassidy, how can you show a good character to your friends? Being polite. Survey says. Second answer. How can you show good character to your friends? Um, you could. Journey. How can you show respect, show character to your friends? Help your friend when they're in trouble. Survey says number three answer. Riley, how can you show good character to your friends? Um, by not bullying. Cut. Survey says. Okay. How can you show good character to your friends? By sharing. Survey says. Okay. Answer. The other answer was be respectful. Hey, Cameron, you want to play across with me? Sure. I didn't even play lacrosse, I just wanted to hang out with Fiona. Well, well, why don't you go back to your stupid game of softball? Why are you even hanging out with her? Why do you care? Because you stink. It's none of your business. We <laughs> 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 threw your sticks down. Why don't you guys just apologize and went to the principal? I guess that really was me. Yeah, it's not her fault she stinks. Let's go tell her. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, Lord, Mama G, please don't go tell the principal. It's okay, just don't do it again. Do you guys want to play catch with us? Sure. sure. Oh, nice try, Cameron. It's not funny to make fun of other people. How would you feel if somebody was bullying you? You should always think before you speak, you might regret it. Respect others and their property. Third question. Th three pe the third person come up. Hundred and three responses, top um, six answers are on the board. Which pillar is trustworthy? Survey says Yes. Okay, come on, Riley, you got this. Answer. 
is your um, your um, respect. Survey says top yes. answer. Okay, Taylor, which pillar is the most important to KES students? Um, responsibility. Survey says. Fourth answer. <laughs> Casty. Which pillar is most important to KES students? Caring. Survey says. Yes. Second answer. <laughs> Brianna. Which pillar is most important to KES students? Citizenship. Survey says. Journey. Which pillar is most important to KS um, students? Fairness. Yes. Survey yes. says <laughs> the um ca caring team wins. Hey Mary, you wanna me at the park to study for our math test? Sure, I'll meet you there. Okay, see you then. Can you call him loser? None of your business, Camden. Hey, what's going on? Camden's just being a bully. Why are you doing that? Because it's funny? No, it's not. What are you doing here anyway? We're trying to study for our math test. With this stupid stuff? Hey, give us our stuff back. We need to study. I don't Come care. On. Give us our stuff back. We care. Come on. I really don't care. This is the biggest test of the year. Come on, just give it back. Please. Poof. Who are you? I'm Character Man. What are you doing here? They give you a character crunch bar. What's that? It teaches you the six bow as a character. I feel better now. Here's your stuff back. Thanks. Hey, do you want to study with us? Sure. Okay. Next time you see someone getting bullied, you should show citizenship and help them. Bullying is not fun. We ain't try to stop it. Now go spread the word about anti-bullying. Go to these websites below to help stop bullying. Go to www.antibullying.com. Welcome back um, to um, Family Feud. This is a championship round. Here it, with me is trustworthiness and caring. Two people come up. Let's go, Riley! Let's go, Riley! Come on, Riley! Riley. 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 Hundred people surveyed. Top on um, six answers are on the board. Which pillar is most is most important to KES teachers? No. No. Um, responsibility. Survey says. Third answer. What's your answer? Um, respect. Survey says. Okay, journey. What is a most important pillar to KES teachers? Caring. Survey says second answer. Riley, what is most important pillar to KES teachers? Trustworthiness. Survey says fourth answer. Taylor, what is a most important pillar to KES teachers? Fairness. Survey says. Six answer. Cassie, one more answer, then you win the championship. What is um, the most important? Pillar to KES teachers. Citizenship. Survey says. Oh. 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 Yes. Yes. Woo. Woo. Answer. Caring wins. Woo. Woo.